This is lesson 26. Divide a unit fraction by a whole number. Problem 1 says Nolan gives some pans of brownies to his three friends to share equally. Part A. If he has three pans of brownies, how many pans of brownies will each friend get? We know Nolan has three pans of brownies, so if we have our three pans of brownies shared equally, with three friends, they will each get one pan of brownies. Our division sentence would be three divided by three equals one. Part B says that Nolan has some pans of brownies to divide, or for his three friends to share equally. If he has one pan of brownies, how many pans of brownies will each friend get? This time we'll use our tape diagram and show that we have one pan of brownies and three friends to share equally. So we'll have one divided into three parts. Each friend will get one third pan of brownie. One divided by three equals one third. One whole divided by three is three thirds divided by three and that's one third. Each friend will get one third pan of brownie. Now let's say that Nolan has just a half a pound of brownies, still sharing with three friends equally. How many pans of brownies will each friend get? We know that our answer will be less than one third pan that we had when he had one pan of brownies to share. We have less to share, but we're sharing with the same number of people. So our answer we know will be less than one third pan. Our tape diagram shows that we have half a pound, half a pan of brownies shared with three people. So our half is divided into three equal parts. We divided the other half into three equal parts too so that we would have equal parts across the whole pan of brownies showing that each part is one-sixth. Each part of the whole is one-sixth. We have half pound of pan of brownies divided amongst three people so each person would get one half divided by three or one sixth pan of brownies. One half divided by three is three sixths divided by three and that's one sixth. Each friend will get one sixth pan of brownies. If Nolan only has one third pan of brownies that he's sharing with those three friends, three friends will share equally. How many pans of brownies will each friend get? Our tape diagram shows one brownie. We only have one third of it, and it's going to be shared equally amongst three friends. So the third is divided into three equal parts. So that we have equal parts still clear across, we divided each third into three equal parts, which shows us that each person is going to get one ninth of a pan of brownies. One third divided by three, Here's one-third divided into three equal parts equals one-ninth. One-third divided by three equals three-ninths divided by three, and that equals one-ninth. As we look at all four of the number sentences we've just done, we see that each time our quotient gets smaller. That's because we're dividing by three every time. But our dividend, the number we started with, got smaller every time. And since the number we started with, our dividend got smaller, then our quotient will also get smaller each time. Here we're asked to find what is one-fifth divided by two. We start with a whole of one, divided into fifths. We're going to take just one-fifth and divide it into two parts, divide it by two. We're going to do that with all the other parts, though, so that our unit stays the same across the whole. So we have one-fifth divided by two, and that equals one-tenth. One-fifth divided by two is one-tenth, or one-fifth divided by two is two-tenths divided by two, and that equals one-tenth. One-tenth. This problem reads, if Melanie pours one half liter of water into four bottles, putting an equal amount in each, how many liters of water will be in each bottle? 
we show with our tape diagram that we have one half liter of water. Our whole is one, we have one half of it. That is divided into four equal parts, but we divided the rest of our tape diagram also into the other half of it, also into four, so we would have the same unit. If we want one half divided into four equal parts, each part will be one eighth. One half divided by four equals one eighth. One half divided by four equals four eighths divided by four, and that equals one eighth. Each bottle will have one eighth liter of water. Remember, we can check our division with multiplication. I can multiply my one eighth, my quotient, times four, my divisor. That would give me one times 4 over 8, and that gives me 4 eighths, which equals 1 half. So I can multiply my quotient times my divisor and get the dividend that I started with. 1 eighth times 4 equals 1 half. So 1 half divided by 4 equals 1 eighth.